10 yeah. years ago, he was able to give the product a certain crunch that was previously the, the, the prior gentleman, George, uh, was not able to produce. So he has managed to kind of perfect the, if you per se, the, the jelly ball crunch, um, which basically is, if you could imagine, the um, closest thing I could imagine would be like pickling pickles. And you know how your your grandmother or your mother used to add the salt and the alum to, and the seven day pickles, well, it's, we kind of have a, 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 a jelly ball version of that. Well, basically, the, when the boats come up to the dock, just like when you're unloading your shrimp, you're going to have the what they call the, the suck machine that's pulling the, the item off of the, the boat. And it goes on the conveyor belt, and then it's going to be dropped into these large vats. And um, the jellyfish, once we catch them, have you know two pieces to them, the head and the, the trunk. And so basically, the, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually bring them in and within you know a few hours we actually have to have them off of the boat and we actually have to have them separated so the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to take the vats inside and they're actually going to start separating the head from the truck and then once they go through the separating process they actually have to go into the washer and um, just like your typical washing machine um, you're going to put them into this washer so the vats are actually dumped in the washer along with water and we're actually then washing the residue which is probably equal to like a slime um, and they're washing that out of the the product and then you actually put the product back into the vat through the the bottom system there in the washer then once that's done they're going to be ready for salting so then we actually put them into what they call pools and you'll see these very large round pools that are covered with black tarps and you actually put those in there so it's a certain percentage of salt alum mixture to a certain uh, number of jellyfish within that uh, pool and they're actually stirring the product so that we have to make sure that our salinity level is reached within at least three hours of, of putting that product in that pool. And so that's a constant, constant remeasure throughout the day to make sure that you're getting that salinity level where it needs to be to prevent any growth. Around the seven day we, we uh, safely in the pool, uh, we call a queue. Kill the jellyfish just like a pickle. Mm -hmm. uh, about five to seven days, or maybe longer. The longer is better, but we don't have a space, we don't have too many pools we can put. Mm -hmm. So, to solve this problem, we have to temporarily, about five days later, we need to take out from the pool to the bucket. The bucket we ship out for the finished product, but we temporarily put it in the bucket and let it cure another few days. One is a cure. Second purpose is for dehydrate. And before we packing, we need to get rid of all the the water, the additional water. water, because the water is still seeping out of the product as it sits right there in the bucket. The bucket, and then actually, once they get ready to pack it, you'll see them pack the product very tightly in these buckets for shipment. Um, and it, it is not it is not a finished product. It's not something that you're going to be able to eat once you you know once they receive it at the port in you know wherever it's going um, because it of course if you can imagine your pickling process then you've got to actually add your sugar or your dill or whatever to that so they actually would take the product the, the buyer and then they actually use the product um, to whatever extent they need to. 